Hello and welcome out to another Market Insights. We're going to do a market update here just briefly, uh, getting into the economic data and just looking at the big picture and what's happening. So um, it's not much different than it's been the last few weeks. So we'll start off like we usually do. And I saw this one, I think, last week or the week before, and I like it. Uh, never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Uh, the turtle, what's the... the um, uh, what's the story? There's a, was it the little red car or some story like that where it just keeps going and going and going and all these other cars are making fun of it? It's one of the kids' stories. So um, having young children, it's one of those that I've read multiple times. It's just, it's just been a while because they're older now. They're five and nine. So, um, But yeah, I think it's the little... The little red car that could, or the putt putt, something like that. I don't remember. So, of course, there's all these, there's all kinds of stories like that about, um, you know, the, the slow and steady wins the race and all this other stuff. So, um, and it's true. You know, no, I can't think of many other examples where that's important to understand, except in trading, because as we talk about here frequently, trading is not easy. Uh, it is simple, but it's not easy to do. It's very difficult. It's one of the most difficult things that you will ever be challenged with in your life, in my opinion. It's the toughest business in the world to succeed at, uh, mainly because of the psychological side. I mean, we beat ourselves up and we literally self-implode. So uh, if you're not at the point you want to be at, just take a deep breath, keep slugging along, and keep going. So... Uh, basically, my opinion with respect to failure in the market, the only way you fail in trading is to quit. You know, you may have to adapt. You may have to change strategies, maybe how long you hold on to things, maybe the types of stuff you do. You may have to adapt and change. It's like that in everything in life. It's like that as, as a parent, in marriage, in relationships, in friendships. I mean, everything in life changes constantly. And so um, it's no different in trading. It's just a it's just a question of how long we hold on and keep trying. So with that being said, let's get on to a lot of the economic data here. See what's happening. Um, see if there's anything important coming out. Uh, we should have unemployment Friday. Oh, no, that was last Friday. That's right, the first. How could I forget that? It was my big 4-0. Uh, <laughs> FOMC members speak, meeting minutes. Uh, funny thing is, is there's not been any real big news that has affected the market in a big way. Even the unemployment stuff, things are just kind of stagnant, you know. So I mean, and, until until there's a dramatic shift in a large piece of economic data, then I think things are going to be ho hum. So you've got next week uh, core PPI, retail sales, which obviously could affect that sector itself. So we've got to be aware of that. Uh, we also have earnings coming up next week. I believe it is the 11th. Alcoa comes out. Um, let's see, this has been changed and wow, there's a big one next earnings. I think that's just for this next week, but you look at the monthly, it goes to 1567 and 1670. If we look at weekly, let's see, I don't like this and I don't like having to open it all up like this. Um, I mean, it's kind of nice to a certain degree but it becomes if you're looking for something specific it comes you get to hunt more which isn't i guess a terrible thing and it looks like oh it is an alphabetical order i don't know this is interesting it's funny when they make changes and you think that they make changes that would be good but sometimes they're and maybe they are it's just a matter of getting used to it There's alcohol right there. Yeah, the 11th, 4-11. So that's, what, next week, isn't it? Monday. Uh, after hours. So um, looks like, the, I'm assuming that check mark there, this is Q1. Um, looks like it's coming out 4 p.m. It's been checked. It's been verified. So a little different take on it and how to look at it. Um, oh, there's a little green check there, too, which looks like it means it's been verified. So, So Monday we kick off earnings season. Just so we're aware of that, so we need to keep an eye out. Most of the stuff comes out now with uh, the little E on it, so we should be good to go on that. Shouldn't have to worry too much about it. So with that being said, let's look at the market overall. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to start getting I don't know why I have all these on here. I must have been using them for something. Uh, whoops. Delete. 
So we got that short-term downtrend. You can see we are coming in right at these highs right here at 2080 or so. We've bounced off of those. Looks like it's trying to slow down a little bit. but um, And there's the thing is, <laughs> you know, we look at these moves. Um, you got a big drop-off, and you see the, the speed of the rally. Just like last time, we had a double bottom. Except this one back in October, we had a double bottom with the right cheek up. Here we've got a double bottom with the right cheek down, the opposite. Uh, not to mention the fact that we made a new low here. So we do not have new highs with the overall market. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are basically still in neutral right now. Uh, unless, I mean, we'd have to really break out of this 2100, 2125 area in order to uh, be considered bullish. At this point, it's neutral. But you can see the speed of this rally that we've had, you know, and the volatility that we've gotten with those types of moves. You can see what happened last time. It sold off, and it took a couple months, but then we finally dropped off again. Now, that's kind of what I'm expecting here <coughs> is for the same type of activity to happen. Um, there are some things. I mean, it, it, it's just the economy isn't that spectacular. It's just not. Uh, people are out there like to tout and say that it is. I mean, but then you hear somebody like Trump, I think it was last Thursday, comes out and says that, you know, things aren't that good. You know, and even though it might be his opinion, it might be his way of getting attention for his presidential bid. But uh, at the same time, I mean, part of it is that I agree with him. I've thought that for, you know, a year, year and a half, there's signs in the market that um, there's fatigue. And the market is definitely overbought. There's not a whole lot of upside to it. So what's the sense of getting in and going long with this market? You know, and anybody with, uh, you know, half of an investment brain recognizes that when you go to this and look at this, yeah, there's not a whole lot of upside. I mean, why would you get in here unless you think the market in the next five years is going to go up to 3,000, which, I mean, what are the odds of that? I mean, that's a 50% run. We are 50% up since, well, I mean, basically about 1,200, 1,300 or so would be that right 1300 to 2100 that's 800 yeah about 13 1350 so this peak right here you know from let's see it bottomed out i guess in 11 of 12 so it's been about 4 years three and a half years <clears throat> so in three and a half years it rallied about 50% but really it was it, most of that happened in 2 years so um, if you think it's going to go another 50% in the next 5 years which is basically about 10% a year, which would be average, it's going to have a very similar run. So it would have to continue the run that we've had in the last three, four years, at least from you know 2012 to 2014. We'd have to have that type of steady ascent for the next three to five years. And it just, you can see from the market history, historically, it just doesn't do that. And then you add the other factors. You add the fact that you know there's a, a lot of people, a lot of baby boomers are starting to retire. Some of my friends that are, uh, you know, a tad a few years younger than them, uh, they're that baby boom generation. And uh, a lady, my mom's friend, just retired. Her husband's probably going to retire in the next few years. And what are they going to do? I mean, they, if they leave their money in the market, they're exposed to risk. And most of them aren't that risk averse. You get up in age and you get kind of nervous and freaked out. So they're going to move out of stocks and mutual funds and into annuities, into something that's safer. So when you have a large generation who's large, probably the largest, I don't know that for sure, I'd have to pull up the data, but most of their wealth is tied up in the stock market. So when it starts to look shaky or it starts to drop, what are they going to do? And a lot of them are probably going to pull out anyway. And I think that's probably why the last year or two we've been kind of stagnant here is they're starting to change and shift gears. They're changing their portfolios from stocks to bonds or annuities or something that's you know more stable because that's what they need in their later years. And I feel sorry for those that aren't doing that because if this market crashes, and that is an if at this point, we don't know if this market, even if it drops off, they're going to be hurting. They're going to be hurting. So hopefully they make a wise decision and at least, I hate to say diversify because I don't really believe in diversification, but when you get to a certain age and you need to have you know, reliable income, yeah, you need to be diversified. You need to keep it in, in safe assets. So, uh, But the question is, will there, will there be any, anywhere safe? So just poking through to finish up. The other markets, they're all about the same. There's not a whole lot of difference. Uh, transport's a little hammer today. Uh, again, the volume is still relatively light. It's, it's it's 
just there's just not a lot there. So um, that's about it. Not terribly exciting. I know it's kind of boring, but we did have some more opportunities in the big guys, which, you know, lots more patterns to lots more stuff that looks better. So it looks like we're getting a, a potential move here shortly with that. So you all have a great evening and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.